I was thinking of making something easy today. I had no mood to cook some elaborate meals today, so I thought I'll make some burnt garlic rice. So I'll show you how I make. It's for lazy people who want something but home cooked. Okay, you want rice and you want home cooked rice. Okay, so this is yummy for that. So first, I've heated a pan and I've put some olive oil. You can use any oil, sunflower oil or groundnut oil or you know any oil of your choice. And once it heats up, I'm going to add some garlic and green chilies. Garlic and green chilies. Now it's going to splutter. You want it nicely burnt. That's why it's called burnt garlic fried rice, right? So you want it nicely burnt. You can add more garlic if you want because I'm just preparing it for me, only me. So this is how much garlic I like. So yes, let the garlic, you know, get burnt, and you will know it when it turns to brown color and uh, brown color and the aroma of garlic. Now the garlic is perfectly brown. Now I want to add some of soy sauce. Okay, I'm going to take a spoon of soy. That was a bad move because it spluttered all over the place. So what you can do is you can add the rice and then add the soy sauce. Okay. So I'm going to add rice. that I just made rice just now. So you can add any type of rice and leftover rice. This is a good recipe for leftover rice. Okay. Now, I'm going to add a teaspoon of sesame oil. This is for flavor. It gives a nice flavor. So sesame oil. And a teaspoon of sesame seeds, the flavor. So it's already looking good. Now you can add, you know, if you want a sweet taste, if you have a sweet tooth, you can add a brown sugar or palm sugar, a bit of it, like a tiny piece of it. Now you add, so if you had kept the rice with salt, you can add little salt based on that. So I don't have any salt except soy sauce has some salt in it. So add a little bit of salt. Okay. And you want to add pepper. So I have this cute little thing to grind pepper. So I grind it fresh. All, every time I need pepper, I grind it fresh. So you grind like this and you open it to have pepper. So that's salt, pepper. Okay. Instead of the oil, instead of the oil in the first place, right? I use olive oil, but you can use butter. That will be like butter garlic rice. It will be so amazing. You add a big scoop of butter and then saute the garlic in butter. That will be like awesome. Okay, so this is my burnt garlic fried rice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, transfer this into a bowl and then make eggs in the same pan like scrambled eggs and then have it together with some maybe chili sauce or whatever you like sauce if you need but you totally don't need any sauce. 
So you can have this fried rice with eggs or vegetables like grilled vegetables, broccoli, something like that. It will be awesome guys. So here I have transferred the rice and now I am going to make some eggs in the same pan because I am lazy. I don't want to use so many pans for my dish. guys we have our bowl ready burnt garlic fried rice and scrambled eggs you can totally add some vegetables and yeah guys grilled or sauteed vegetables and your meal is ready hope you enjoyed this quick video of a lazy lunch day with me see you again in another video bye bye have fun